make sure you check out the new book put out by FMG, The Best of Less Fair Custom. Jump on Amazon.com and do a search for that in books and it'll pop right up. It's a full color paperback book for $24.95, chock full of 25 feature length articles all about your favorite gun maker. If you read the May-June issue of American Handgunner Magazine, you would have seen this Les Bear Custom Carry Comanche on the cover. This is the gun. Because I wrote the article, I pretty much shot the snot out of it. I'd like to tell you what I learned. Les's shop has, I don't know, 12, 15 people in it, and uh, most of those are actually craftsmen. Les manufactures his own frames and slides in-house on his own CNC machine. And there's only one or two other people who can say that they do that. Uh, most get uh, pretty much finished slides and frames in. They might do a little bit of final machine work on it and then they mark them with their, uh, their company name. Les does it from scratch. Now why that's important is because <laughs> Les is this maniacal demon when it comes to the pursuit of quality and perfection. And unless it is, exactly right and exactly perfect, it doesn't go into a less bear gun. You know, I'll bet you I've shot, I don't know, 30 or 35 less bear guns over the last 30 odd years, and every single one I've ever had was sheer delight. And I know this sounds like an advertisement, but he's not paying me for this, okay? Uh, all of his guns have run, all of them shoot like a rifle, all of them have shown impeccable workmanship and attention to fit, finish, and detail. I'm here to tell you, you know, for the price, it's virtually impossible to do better than a Les Bear gun. Okay, the gun in question. Now that I've painted a bit of a picture for you, uh, the custom carry is built on the uh, full size one. This one's a 4.25 inch barrel, so it's kind of commandery like. Uh, for $3,390, which sounds maybe like that's a lot of money, but not really, because if you shop online and you look at how much full custom 1911s are, they're $5,000, $8,000, $10,000. This is built the best that I have ever seen a 1911 be built. Now, this particular gun uh, has something that I really like, especially on a gun that's as accurate as a Les Bear gun. It's got fully adjustable rear sights. These are the Rollo sights. Uh, they're uh, tritium, so they're night vision sights. Uh, the frame and slide, uh, Les describes them as national match, and I would agree. You know, it's stunning. He holds uh, parallel tolerances in the tens of thousandths of an inch, not gap, but parallel. And that's one of the reasons why when you run the slide on one of his guns, it really does feel like that legendary, you know, bank vault door on grease ball bearings. This test gun had a pretty solid four pound trigger. I, I like to measure him 10, 15, 20 times, and it pretty much always broke right about there. Uh, it's also got the uh, uh, ambi safety going, so it, as it comes out of the box, it's a left or right hand gun. It, this is my favorite style. This, uh, you know, custom carry Comanche model with a slightly shorter slide because you still get a full size grip and it's not like an officer slide where, frankly, I've had some reliability issues with certain officer style guns. This longer slide just seems to run a little smoother and a little more reliably. When Les built this gun for the article, I asked him uh, if he would hard chrome it because I think it's such a handsome look, especially on his guns. The flats are flat, the rounds are rounds, the angles are angles. I mean, everything looks right, and the hard chrome, I think, really sort of sets it off. Uh, otherwise, the stock gun would come blued. Uh, I suppose if you really wanted to, you could have it Cerakoted after market somewhere, although if you did, people would talk about you in point. You know, when I was uh, doing the shooting for the article, I, uh, I targeted this very carefully at 25 yards, and uh, I shot, I think it was 10 shots, and it all went into like one and a quarter inches. <laughs> I think it was a little bit better than that. And the best five shot group I got was with Buffalo Bore 180 hard cast, and it was 0.75 inches. And I'm an old guy, and I can't see anymore, <laughs> so I, I imagine this is essentially a one-hole gun at 25 yards with the right ammunition. 
Uh, I also put it on my 80 yard steel gong a little bit just to play around, a torso gong. And it was just, you could hit it, it was boring. You know, bang, clang, bang, clang, bang, clang. It was pretty monotonous. Let's uh, chat just for a second about ammunition. There's a lot of talk about, oh, it's uh, 10 millimeter is as powerful as a 41 Magnum. Maybe at the very lowest edge of the 41 Magnum. Something that's really interesting to me is this uh, new Honey Badger round. Solid copper fluted bullet. This one is a 115, and it chronographs at an honest 1,600 feet per second. Jeff Hoffman of Black Hills Ammo has sent me gelatin pictures, and it will penetrate 24-plus inches of uh, ballistic gelatin and leave a really uh, substantial permanent wound cavity. If you get that kind of penetration and a 10-millimeter caliber, a bullet weight is irrelevant. There's also that Buffalo Bore 180 hard cast uh, bullet. Uh, that's about 1350, I think. So it's a heavy bullet. And I'm sure that will also give you that deep penetration that you need. So I've got a target set up at 25 yards. Let's put a couple of magazines through and see what happens. We're set up at 25. I'll slow fire and see what we can do. I like this uh, axle target that we have here because it's got an outline of a human body and the location where the actual heart muscle would be located and also where that sort of magical area here uh, in case you really need to have a type one stop on somebody. So, all right, let's shoot uh, and see what happens. Gun safe. I can't see the bullet holes. <laughs> let's go see how we did. Okay, well, let's see what we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I shot eight times. This actually just might be the sight picture itself. I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, man, I can't see anymore, but uh, offhand, just sort of shooting. That was the first magazine I put through that gun today. And uh, now that all the excuses are done, <laughs> you can see though that I've got essentially a palm size group at 25 yards, uh, nicely centered in the stop the bad guy threat area. So, all right. I think the gun can shoot better than most people can shoot, evidently including me. All right, let's wrap this up. To close up shop here, uh, you know, 3,350 odd dollars, give or take a little bit, you get a very fine, 10 millimeter gun. There's something about this gun that seems to reduce the recoil, and I'm not sure why that is. Uh, just, you know, the fit, the way the slide runs, I'm not sure. The fact that it's all steel helps, I'm sure, but I really like this blend of uh, a slightly shorter slide with a full size grip, and uh, I don't think you can beat it for value. Plus, the darn thing is about as accurate as a rifle, in spite of the way I shot on that target. So, all right, hey, uh, before we wrap this up, let's remember uh, the four firearm safety rules. And for goodness gracious sakes, take a new shooter shooting. Um, I think that it's part of our obligation as ambassadors to the shooting sports. And so take the time to do it. I know they need the help. And there's not a single person like that who I've taken shooting who didn't really appreciate it. So, all right, you guys. Hey, until I see you next time, stay safe.